name is Chiara, and I'm a member of the analysis team that provided the new Atlas results to investigate possible CP violation effects in the X boson interaction with vector bosons. What we know is that in our universe we have an excess of matter with respect to antimatter. The physics reason that can explain this asymmetry is the violation of charge and parity symmetry. This implies that particles and antiparticles behave differently in their interactions. One of the possible sources of CP violation can be searched in the X boson interactions, in particular with vector bosons, looking at two specific processes. The first one is the X boson decay into Z bosons, which in turn decay into a pair of lepton and antilepton, and it allows to reconstruct the entire final states, so all the particles coming from the reaction, and study their entire behavior. The other process instead is the vector boson fusion, where two vector bosons combine to produce an X boson together with the quark and antiquark pair, which creates two jets. And this process is very interesting because there is a high energy exchange uh, between the particles involved in the process. And usually, a high energy processes are the ones that hide the new physics phenomena, like, for example, the CP violation ones. The challenging part of this study is to find the quantity which can tell us when the CP symmetry is actually violated. So, when the behavior of particles and antiparticles is different if we exchange them. It's like if you look at the mirrored imaging, it does something completely different from the original one. And we identified this quantity in the optimal observable. This observable is super interesting because its value is equal but with opposite sign for particles and antiparticles, and is equal to zero if the CP symmetry is preserved. Indeed, its distribution becomes asymmetric in presence of CP violation effects. So this implies that this observable is a very powerful tool to detect CP violation effects. So we studied the observed distribution of the optimal observable, both to directly constrain CP violating X boson couplings with vector bosons, but and also providing the differential cross-section measurement, which meant how often each value of the optimal observable occur in the data. In this plot, we can see the limits that we set on the XCP violating couplings, which represents the largest possible values that are still compatible with data. The points show the value of each coupling measured from the data, and the bars correspond to the limits of those couplings. The vertical dashed line, instead, is the standard model expectation. And we can see that all the limits on CP violating couplings are compatible with the expectation within the uncertainty. So for now, we have no evidence of CP violation in the X-couplings with vector bosons, which is an important confirmation of the current theory of nature.